for us to engage in the process of science, the first thing, so, so the, while there's lots of ways to do the process of science, we're going to look at what does it mean to actually design an experiment? What is the process of experimental design? And we will, like I said earlier, I think, we'll be playing with this because we're going to be designing experiments. First, if you're going to design an experiment, we're not going to follow the scientific method. We're going to follow a process to give us good quality experimental design. And the first thing that you're going to need to have is a hypothesis. Experimental design starts with, okay, hold on. First of all, it starts with observations, it starts with questions, it starts with exploration, research, and then you, after doing all of that, then you come up with a hypothesis. And I'm going to give you a definition for hypothesis, which is probably different from what you have already known. A hypothesis is a proposed explanation. to describe or to explain. It's a proposed explanation for some observable fact. So, no, for some observable, um, from something that you're observing in the world. In what kind of world? In that kind of world, the natural world. Okay, so not only is it a proposed explanation, but there are a couple of rules about hypotheses. First of all, they must be falsifiable. In other words, you have to be able to collect data that indicates your hypothesis is not accurate. And second, dogs, it's got to be testable. A hypothesis is not going to fly if you can't actually design a test to see if it's true or not. And then you have to be able to collect data that indicates, oh, well, yeah, it actually is not true. For example, my good buddy Santa Claus, I can't actually do a scientific study to prove that Santa does not exist. Because at any moment, I can throw out the, dude, it's, he's magic. Hello? Of course you can't, like, go find him at the North Pole because he's magic and he hid the North Pole factory. That hypothesis, Santa totally exists in the North Pole, is not falsifiable. I can't wait to have a discussion with you guys about, okay, how are you going to prove it to me that, no, really, he really doesn't exist. And then how would we even test that? How would we test whether or not he exists? I hope there's no kids watching right now because clearly Santa totally exists because we can't prove otherwise. I'm going to stop this line. I'm going to think of another thing that I can use as my example because it's um, 10 days from Christmas and this was a really bad idea. All right. In the process, once we have a hypothesis that we conclude is falsifiable and testable, then we need to set up the experiment, and to do that, we need to identify some variables. So I'm going to show you about that next, and I promise it will have nothing to do with Santa. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. See, that's Santa. He's pissed. <laughs>